We thought we'd show you the walk down from Sunset Bluff to the main lobby. So we're just leaving the room now and I can hear some works going on outside. So There's a guy with a dr drill but hopefully the camera won't have picked that up. So those are the steps down to the pool on the bluff. There's a separate video on that. Okay. And this is being done at flip-flops pace, so I'm sure you could achieve it faster if you wished. I'm going to go past this overlook, which gives some nice views out across the bay, across the rest of the resort as well. Nice place to sit for a drink in the evening, possibly watching the sun go down. And then we're going to head down the side of the road which connects the resort as a whole. Now, it is quite downhill in this direction, therefore quite uphill in the other direction. And so there's actually a little minibus shuttle that runs from the main lobby up to the bluff and back down again on a continuous schedule during the day. Or if you've got a butler, they'll zip you up and down in one of their golf carts. If you're going to go for the golf cart option though, hold on tight, because they, they're pretty nippy. Some nice oceanfront properties there. Can get quite lively. Waves crashing on the rocks beneath. As you can see, here comes another butler buggy bringing breakfast, I think, to somebody up where we're staying. Approaching kimono and soy. Even though it's quite quite early in the morning, it's a lot of activity going on. Okay, so here we are at Kimono and Soi. It really isn't very far from Armando's. Probably only a couple of minutes walk down the hill. A bit more challenging when you're heading back to the room after a, a very large meal.
ice machine for emergencies. All the blue buildings are rooms with really spectacular views down over the bay. And we're now just approaching the pool by Piton's restaurant. It's quite a small pool, but we've had a day here, quite peaceful. A little bit tricky to negotiate this part of the roadway as the pavement has briefly disappeared. If you were to carry on up there, you would eventually come to a sort of left hand bend which takes you down to the lobby area. But we're going to cut down through the uh, Pitons Pool down to the beach area. So we're coming down past Pitons Restaurant which has sort of the iconic conical roof shape to match the mountains themselves. And then in the corner here, there's another set of steps that take us down to the front. So we'll walk along through the flat bit and through Neptunes. They're uh, replacing the tiles on the roof at the moment, which has been quite entertaining because they can only do it before the restaurant opens at about 11.30 in the morning. So every morning they do a few more tiles and then they have to pack it all up again. And the next morning, a few more tiles and then they have to pack it all up again. But I suppose that's sort of the way of sort of continual improvement, continually keeping things nice. And then now we've reached the main pool area and then pavilion and restaurant we can just see ahead of us and up those stairs is the main lobby. So, passing by the main pool. There's a couple of ways to get into the lobby from here. You can go up these stairs, which we'll do. Or you can uh, access it by another staircase from over the other side of the little the restaurant area here. Busy for breakfast this morning. Straight ahead gets you into Restaurant La Toc.
There's the main sort of lobby area, pick up and drop off area at the front there. There's another little seating area around the corner. open air here. And there's this turning circle here for drop-offs and pickups. There's that other staircase that I mentioned, a way to access the lobby area. And if we were to go around here, another staircase up, which takes you up to the cricketers. <laughs> 